Storage. From the garage size units where you keep that extra stuff to big businesses, storage is a must. Think about it. Furniture stores have only a small percentage of their tables and chairs, couches and bedroom sets on display. They must have huge warehouses to store the bulk of their product. Part of buying a car is walking the lot. Dealerships must have enormous lots to display the hundreds of cars they're selling at any given time. But what about businesses whose day-to-day -day operations require storing mass amounts of digital data? Now think about this. Every time you swipe your credit card, data is transmitted and stored. Every time you make a mortgage payment to your bank, data is transmitted and stored. But where is all of this data stored? Where does it live? Honestly, because of security concerns, owners aren't anxious to even tell you where. But our ETV cameras were allowed a sneak peek at one such center that is about to go online in the Midwest with the help of the NECA IBEW team. We live in an information age, an age that is defined by the internet. Since its creation, the World Wide Web has changed forever the way we share and as a result, store information. Virtually everything you do is virtual and is stored in data centers. The best way to think about a data center is like a hotel. Companies rent individual spaces or rooms and companies depend on their rooms being accessible 24-7. A lot of the tenants and clients would be large, could be, could be large financial, insurance, internet companies, so it's extremely important even a few minutes of downtime for these kind of clients could be millions of dollars. Um, so, it's, so it's extremely important that the electrical and mechanical systems um, never fail and stay up and running at all times. With data center work, there is no margin for error. It is the type of work precious few in the electrical industry have the skill set to do. Enter Gibson Electric and the career construction professionals of IBEW Local 134. When we do these types of projects, uh, specifically in these types of markets, we want to get the best manpower available and obviously the uh, NECA certified people in, in Gibson Electric was able to provide the necessary manpower that was well trained uh, and able to comprehend the complexity of this type of project. Data centers in general are incredibly complex and incredibly expensive, especially if they go offline. The adage, time is money, has never been more true than with a project like this. To ensure its success, Gibson and the men and women of Local 134 worked side by side with the owner. It was a team effort from day one. Well, the team approaches all the major players on the project working together with the same goal intended. You know, if, if, there, if a problem arises, you, it's not just your problem. You all work together through it to, to get through it. You bring it up in, in meetings and um, you try, try and make everybody's jobs a lot easier, not just worry about yourself. When we went out to contract, with an electrical contractor on this project, we were looking at the total package. We were looking at the best value. Who could do it, uh, who could help with the coordination and design assist, who could help with the budgeting, who could help push the schedule, who could manage the manpower, all those types of things to bring value to the client and to hold their construction. And Gibson was able to prove uh, to us through an interview process that they were the best contractor for the project. Electricians um, are usually the first ones in, last ones out, so I think it applies in most cases. Um, but I, but I think that the, the overall industry um, has to be ready for it and has to accept it, especially engineering firms that, uh, that do the engineering drawings themselves typically. So you got a team approach also from all parties involved. High-end, high-tech electrical work is the calling card of IBEW Local 134, but on this particular project, there was more than the normal amount of old-fashioned down and dirty work as well. The project drawings were probably 70-80% complete at the start when we actually broke ground. So a lot of what Gibson brought to the table is actually finishing and completing the design uh, for the design team. They are in the ground early uh, digging things while the drawings were only 70% complete, kind of finishing the design simultaneously. So that was probably one of the bigger challenges. The key to getting the data center going is, is really getting the deep underground. we got miles and miles of electrical pipe underground and you know it's eight foot deep and with a building like this you have to, all the haul out that has to happen and putting the banks in and pouring them back with concrete and the backfill. Really to, to get anything started to be able to bring in any equipment you've got to get all that underground done and you know we re-roofed the roof also to get everything watertight to be able to really start anything bringing in the switch gear and the, the power distribution systems. For security reasons we're limited as to what we can show you. We can say Gibson Electric and IBEW 134 excavated more than 42,000 cubic yards of dirt. 
they installed more than 949,000 feet of conduit and pulled more than 1,726,000 feet of wire. To walk into this building and to see all the Gibson yellow hardheads, as far as you can see in all different directions, you kind of you know, you, you realize the magnitude of this project. And uh, that was the early stages of the project. And then for everything to be covered up and you know, backfilled and concrete poured and all these systems coming, it, it was amazing. More than 5,000 cubic yards of concrete would classify as amazing, I think. And once the underground was done, they moved above ground, where they got some help from Building Information Modeling, or BIM technology. We did some level of, of uh, BIM coordination, yes, uh, especially uh, the above ground work with a lot of the mechanical work and electrical coordination. Um, and the electrical work, uh, we did quite a bit of 3D as well. In the end, the NECA IBEW team's ability to handle the frenetic pace of the job was a feather in the cap of the GC. We didn't have time on this project to redo things or struggle with quality issues. We had to be able to get into the job, get it built, and get out quickly in order to meet our clients' demands. And we felt that with the union labor provided, we, that we would be, have the biggest chance to be successful. It was a job NECA and the IBEW can be proud of as well. It's a talk in town, this project, and we're very proud of it. We built this project like, like we're planning on going right into the, the next phase after this. This has been the project of a lifetime. I've never seen anything like this before, just the sheer magnitude, the complexity of the systems, and uh, probably never will again. It's just been an honor to be able to be a part of something this large. Hats off to Gibson Electric and IBEW Local 134. You guys did a great job. Up next on Electric TV, learn how you can identify hazards on your job before they become serious problems. It's a hot issue. Construction projects large and small share two critical elements when a NECA contractor is doing the work. They're built on time and on budget. The skill level of our IBEW electricians is the highest in the world, guaranteeing every project is done right the first time. Being the best isn't a slogan, it's our tradition. The IBEW NECA team 